If the price goes above it, we've got a new top line. Okay. If the price comes down below it, we've got a new top line. These are all top lines. If the price stays below it, we've got a new top line. And the trade idea is very, very simple as far as market makers are concerned. They trade the top line. Okay. So if the price goes up to this price here, they'll trade that. If the price then goes back to this price, they'll trade the next one. And if it goes back to that price, they'll trade the next one. So if the price comes up here and goes through that, you'll sell it when it comes back below here on your Heisman. Okay. So you'll sell that trade there. And then we get a new top line. And this top line and this top line are the same. And this is where your next sell trade is going to be. The price comes up to here. We're going to sell it again. New top line. New top line, still there, still there. Price comes through that, we sell it again. And that's all we do, guys. That's what we do. We're selling top lines. We're selling short the top lines. And we sell short the top lines when we get sticky stuff. And the market is sticky on the NASDAQ because, well, I saw a lot of two Sigma sellers yesterday, to be perfectly honest, into the closing bell. And I was very, very keen to watch that. And you can probably see it for yourself if you look at the NASDAQ on a 15-minute chart. The top edge is just pin city. I mean, there's, there's so many pins on the NASDAQ, it's embarrassing. I mean, how clear the selling was from the two Sigma guys. So... When we think about the idea of selling, there's got to be more than simply the, the, the uh, pins. There's got to be other things. There's got to be some other evidence, but that's okay. We had the other evidence. We looked at the deltas. We looked at the gammas. I felt that the market was getting very sticky. We looked at the puts and calls, and uh, there was certainly an element of stickiness coming in. One might agree with me. It doesn't make any difference. That's what my opinion was, and I'm, that's what I was trading. We tweeted that out last night, so it's not hindsight information. And uh, you'd have been able to make the same observation if you just put the VVIX on your charts, for example, plus perhaps some of those pins that you saw coming into that prior top edge. So this is what I was seeing last night. So I saw from yesterday, I saw a lot of two Sigma buyers, <coughs> two Sigma buyers coming in. Two Sigma buyers coming in, two Sigma buyers coming in, two Sigma buyers coming in during this little dip here. And then I started to see a lot of selling coming into this rebalance. The prior high was here, but the gamma was still pretty positive at that stage. The gamma was still relatively healthy, making you higher highs. And then when the price drops out here, you start recognizing that that's quite a toxic sell candle. The two Sigma guys came in and started to sell this price at 400, just below 400. They swept the price higher. They started to sell back in again when the price hit 400 again. And the gamma was now very, very bearish. We've made a structural break low. And I tweeted out last night that the top edges are getting sticky. You might have seen it. You might not have seen it. Let me just check that it was true. We actually called it in the classroom and I just re-mentioned re uh, it last night. So I didn't make the first call last night, but we were covering this in classroom. S&P Macro, sticky top lines as called earlier in class. Gamma is starting to build on the slippy side. Traders buying cheapest puts to protect and with the risk premium dropping off into the close, we're looking for red RGL type trades. We're selling sticky top lines. So we're going to be selling sticky top lines. So guess what? Draw them on. Draw your sticky top lines on the charts. And then when we trade into those areas, take your shot. So we came into the top line. We got a new top line here. So I'm going to draw that sticky top line on the charts again. And I'm going to try and deal. We got another pivot and I've got another sticky top line again. I've still not got any trades, but I've got sticky top lines, which is always good. I wouldn't be trading anyway, I mean, it's, uh, depending upon your time. So we tested the sticky top line here, got our first trade on at three o'clock this morning, London. Got a very, very healthy sell side response. So that was a nice start to a sticky top line. Price stays the same. A new sticky top line forums here coming into the early European session. 
draw in your pivot price. So these are all your sticky top lines. These are all sell levels. We got another trade coming through. So we're selling into that one. Dropped out beautifully, made some nice money. A new sticky top line comes into play based on that pivot. And then the price comes up to the pivot, just comes away a little bit, comes up to the pivot. We're starting to get ready to sell. Now it keeps going through, selling into the level twos. We did a couple of trades in here. We did another trade at the top edge because it was two sticky top lines. So we sold into the first edge there and uh, we were able to make some money. Sold into the second edge, made some money. And then we've got a new sticky top line and we've just sold into this next one. And we've made some money, surprisingly enough, off the sticky top lines. So we can see that that sticky top line is indeed a sticky top line. Surprisingly enough, we were right on the tweet and we've made money even in an uptrending market. You can see it's dominated by the market makers, a lot of overlapping rotations and uh, nothing of any real significance out of all of that stuff. Remember, we do have Powell, very key to this afternoon's business. And uh, we just gotta be careful with that one. Also 10 year bond auction. And uh, we'll be looking to see whether we get a real demand for that bond, uh, suggesting that everybody now thinks the pivot is in, especially the direct dealers will be a wee bit more competitive if that's the case. And uh, we'll see a very, very nice, solid, healthy auction.